and welcome to Tales of the Resistance, Volume 2, Persistence, a summer of original radio podcast political comedies by the confusingly named, always radical, and never ever silent San Francisco Mime Troop. Every week, we will be presenting one episode written, directed, and performed by Mime Troop veterans and dealing with the revolutionary issues of the day. This week's story, The Black Fox and Jailbreak Collide. It's Collision at the Intersectionality. Resisting Arrest. That's what we cops call it. Maybe it was a protester saying something I didn't like, or somebody trying to video me pepper spraying a kid. Maybe my coffee was cold and my donuts stale. Whatever. Resisting arrest is what I say it is. And you civilians always believe me, because I'm a cop. Like the other day, I busted these two guys for resisting. Some Chinese guy at an Antifa rally, and a black drag queen writing, God is gay on a church. And if I say they resisted, they resisted. And now, you're safe. Because you don't want to live in a world of anti-fascist, cross-dressing, cold coffee, stale donut revolutionaries who defund the police every time I blind a kid, do you? I didn't think so. And that's why I'm here, wearing a blue ski mask, talking to these patriots. See, it's not about the law. It's about respect. It's about resisting what I say. It's about resisting my authority. Understand? Resisting arrest is all about... Who's in charge here? I'm not sure, sir. Isn't this the rally for our co-op The American Americans for America who also keep oaths and are proud of being boys, yes, sir. Fuhrer Hammersack invited me to talk about how the thin blue line is saving our nation from the socialist menace. Where is he? Well, sir, Fuhrer Hammersack had to go to work. Work? Where? At Quiznos. Is he coming back? I don't think so, sir. Apparently it's extra toasty Tuesday. Does he know how hard it was for me to help break him out of that jail? Out of my own precinct? Your hammersack may be hard at work making sandwiches, but I'm sure he appreciates your sacrifice. And I bet he gave any plans about the rally to the assistant Führer. The who? The assistant Führer and his intern. Where are they? Oh, they're right. Oh, that's funny. Where'd they go? Are they following us? I don't see anyone. Then can we slow down? Running in heels is murder on my calves. I guess so. Thank goodness. Well, you know, part of me wishes we could have stayed. Are you insane? Don't get me wrong. Getting busted out of jail by male impersonating insurrectionettes was an exciting evening, but that doesn't mean I want to have a sleepover with them. But think about it. Aren't they the very people we should be trying to reach? The workers whose minds we have to change. But I thought you wanted to punch them. It's important to show them that they're the foot soldiers of their own oppression and to give them a chance to join the fight for revolutionary justice. And if they like being foot soldiers of their own oppression? Then I punch them. Okay. But next time there's an Awakoa Pob rally, I'm going to get some of my friends together and we're going to tell them about... Listen... Now that we're away from those Nazi nutbags, we have a chance to get back to something much more important. What? Us. You and me. You and me? This girl needs a nice hot bath, a nice soft bed, and... And? A hand to hold, a chest to lay my head on, and a pair of tender eyes like yours to gaze into. Oh. What? That's it? What do you mean, that's it? I just thought you were going to say something about sex. Cheng Jun. Can you blame me? The first time we met, you said my name felt good in your mouth. I'm talking about romance. I want to shut out the world with all its fear and insanity for just a little while in the safety of your arms, while you know you're safe in mine. That sounds wonderful. Then the sex. Ah. Lots of sex. Uh, Excuse me? Who are you? Well, I just wanted to know which way to the American Americans for America who also keep oaths and are proud of being boys rally. What makes you think we know anything about them? Well, uh, it's summer and you're both wearing ski masks. Oh, right. 
Yes, of course. Our co op Bob. I'm the intern Führer. And this is the assistant Führer. Hi. Are you a member? Uh, not yet, but I figured I might as well hear what you all have to say. Us? Assistant Führer, remember? Right. Hi. Well, then maybe you could help me out. Uh, my granddad landed on Omaha Beach, D Day, 1944. He got a purple heart. Wounded pushing those fascists all the way across France. But the last couple of years, Trump and these Republicans were saying Antifa, uh, the anti-fascists, are the enemy. And the people with the swastikas and the Confederate flags are the real Americans. Yes, well, it is confusing. Oh, you understand. My folks grew up around a lot of Confederate flags. Oh, so you know when you got everybody around you going in one direction, it's hard to swim the other way. But it doesn't feel right. Then why do you want to join our co op well, I want to be part of something making this country better for regular folks, you know? Uh, but I'm at the bottom of the pole, and it feels like nobody's looking out for me. Everybody talks about the middle class, and I don't even know what that is. I'm just a working guy, ordered around by big shots, and all I want is somebody who's on my side. I didn't trust Trump, but now he's gone. Well, kind of gone. And I still got Tucker Carlson making me feel like Granddad was a sucker. I don't know. Maybe he was. So I figure maybe I should go and listen to our cow poop. Our cow pub. Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, which way is the rally? Three blocks that way. Oh, thanks. Oh, and by the way, that is a great Maleficent costume. Thank you. What's your name? Archie. It's nice to meet you, Archie. Well, I'll see you at the rally. So, where were we? Ah, yes. Something about lots of sex? Actually, I was thinking about what you said before that. About how being in your arms sounds wonderful. About us going back to the rally. About... What? Didn't you say something about going back? Next time. Not now. Next time. But you heard Archie. Poor guy. He doesn't want to be one of them. He just hasn't heard anything better. And he can't be the only one. Is this because he liked your costume? No. I just realized that I've been fighting on the edge of the light for a long time, and maybe it's time to take center stage. So you want to go back? You said we should show them their own oppression. Well... This would be a chance to get our message straight to them. Yes! Without the corporate press misinterpreting it. Yes! Twisting it. Yes! And you're the perfect person to tell them about it. Me? But you're the leader of Antifa. We don't have leaders. Sorry. And in our co op pub, I'm just an intern. But you, you're... The assistant Führer. And you'll be magnificent. And I'm dressed like Maleficent. And that's a problem. That cop from the precinct, he'll recognize the costume and arrest us for sure. Right. For a moment, Sanka stood in the cool brilliance of the fluorescent streetlight, her billowing cape swirling in all its Angelina Jolie glory. Then slowly, she turned her head and smiled. I have an idea. And now, now you know what they want? They want to teach our kids that America is racist. No. First off, we didn't steal this land from the Indians or natives or whatever they call them. No. God gave it to us because he loves us. He didn't love them. And then they died. Why can't these commies understand that? And all this Black Lives Matter complaining about racism and slavery. What these thugs don't get is black people weren't slaves because they were black. They were slaves because that's all they were good for. That's not racism. That's the truth. And if they don't like freedom, they can go back to Africa or Oakland or wherever they're from and leave America to people who appreciate it. Yeah! Saving America. That's what this is all about. That's why so many of my blue brothers are secretly working with you patriots. Like when some of us let you guys into the Capitol on January 6th. Because we know the only way to save this country from a left-wing revolution is for us to have a right-wing revolution first! Yeah! Now I want to let you know that me and Fuhrer Hammersack planned another special guest for you tonight. 
So light those tiki torches and get ready to see Kyle, because here he comes... The assistant Fuhrer. No, I was going to say... There he is. And at that moment, the crowd parted, and through the middle walked the majestic figure of the witch that gave Snow White the poisoned apple. Wait a minute. I recognize that costume. It's good, isn't it? High heels clicked on the wet parking lot pavement as Magnificent Maleficent made her way forward. You're that drag queen from the jailbreak. Jailbreak? Give me that ski mask. You're no assistant, Fuhrer. You're... You're just... What? What? My name is Wendy! But why are you dressed like that? My kids love the picture of this uniform so much, the assistant Fuhrer lent it to me. Why? Because I've been promoted to special secret undercover assistant Fuhrer. The what? The S-S-U-C-A-F. The SECAF of the Awakoa Pop. Who are you? A confidential intern to the SECAF. Oh, I'm so confused. Of course you're confused. We're all confused. Confused by elected politicians who tell us elections don't work. No, I was going to say I'm confused. By so-called patriots who say they love our soldiers while celebrating Confederates and Nazis whose job it was to kill our soldiers. No. By preachers telling us to hate our neighbors and that Jesus would want us to get rich and have guns. No. By how the lizard people fit in human skins. Lizard people? Is that what you believe? Oh, you poor thing. This doesn't make any sense. Well, the lizard people come from an ancient civilization. I mean all these Fuhrers. Who are we supposed to take orders from? Maybe we're not supposed to take orders from anybody. Maybe you're supposed to listen to reason, to what actually makes sense, not just who scares you the most or who just tells you what you want to hear. But them lefties all sound so nuts. Aren't you the one who just said something about lizard people? They live in caves under the White House. It's not about words. It's about the facts. It's about actions. It's about making the world a better place for everyone. Not just for the criminal corporate aristocracy and their minions in the government. It's not about dividing us. It's about uniting us against our real enemy. You mean... Don't say lizard people! I mean the capitalists who lie to all of us so they can keep their money and power. The problem is you've been listening to their lies and conspiracy theories for so long, the plain truth sounds insane. Because their truth is insane. And stepping out of a limo that looked half a block long was a tall man in a designer suit and a designer ski mask. Finally, he's here! The Uber Fuhrer, Awakoa Pob! Yeah, Awakoa Pob. You're just in time! The special secret undercover Fuhrer and his confidential intern were just telling us about the evils of capitalism. The who and his what were telling you what? Well, I hope I've given you all something to think about, but now, ooh, goodness, look at the time. Yes, we really should be going. Because we have an... An appointment at a... At a special... Special all-night... Super secret political... Political... Thing. Political thing? I ran dry. Seize them. Uh, Ow. I got them. Take off their masks. You. Us. You know them? This one is some kind of black revolutionary witch. Drag queen. And I told my boss that this one was a leader of Antifa. It... It was you. You're the one that framed me. Why? Because bringing in the top commie looks good when they're handing out promotions. So it wasn't just resisting arrest. It's whatever I say it is. Fascist? Shut up. Uberfuhrer, these two are trying to shake our faith in the core ideals of our co op Really? Country, capitalism, Q... And other stuff. Well, no harm done. In fact, since they've been exposed as enemies of America, we all know everything they said was just red propaganda. No, listen, don't be fooled. The capitalists don't see you as citizens, they see you as suckers. No, we don't. Wait. And like every millionaire and billionaire working hard in our corner offices, yachts, and mansions, we love the workers. That's not true. All you care about is your own bottom line. Not at all. I started out just like so many of you. 
so I know what it's like. But I work my way up, because <laughs> only in America. Yeah! My parents had nothing, nothing to give to their only son, except the love of this country and faith in the American dream. Day after day I worked, starving, struggling, climbing up the ladder of success. Yeah! I didn't ask for a socialist handout or a Bolshevik handoff. I didn't whine about housing or a free college education. I didn't expect taxpayer-funded health care when I was sick or government cheese when I was hungry. Yeah! I'm a self-made man in the only place where I could self-make myself, America. All I needed was my faith in God, my faith in my country, and... The $562 million you inherited from your parents. What? Isn't that right, Brad Astaroth? Wait a minute. I've seen you on TV. You're... Angelica Phoenix, and I was right black. Angelica Phoenix, you're my favorite. And I'm Ada Kawakami. <laughs> Who? I mean, Kiki Wong. I remember you. You were the wrong way. What are you both doing here? I fired you. Wait, are we on camera? Is this a setup or is this some kind of a... Mysterious mystery! Did anyone else hear thunder? Yes, Angelica, you have finally tracked down your scheming, sexist boss to his secret meeting. That was the information your new comrade, Hedo Kawakami, had uncovered in his office. That he, Brad Astaroth, the vice president of the network, is also one of the corporate elite behind the violent, fascist movement that aims to topple democracy itself. What do you want? What do you think? By day, sexist boss. By night, an uber Führer funding a right-wing militia. It should make a great story. He tries to grab you, doesn't he, Angelica? Rushing forward, his hands clutching at you. But before he can reach you, a strange woman, dressed as Angelina Jolie from Maleficent, stops him. Hold on, I want to hear this. As Uber Fuhrer, I command you to stop them. And suddenly, the black man and the Asian man, held by the man in the blue ski mask, twist out of his grasp and grab him instead. You can't do this. Watch me. Camera? Got it! Lights? Well, I'll take care of it. I, I have a light on my phone. You! Let's see what you have to say, Miss Phoenix. And action! My fellow Americans, this is Angelica Phoenix, and I'm here to tell you a secret. A secret anyone should have guessed, but no one talks about. No! That Brad Astaroth, my producer and vice president of the network, is not only a serial sexual harasser and a racist, but he is also bankrolling the right-wing, anti-democratic, neo-fascist, American-Americans for America who also keep oaths and are proud of being boys. Wait! We are fascists? You really need to get out more often. Our network was never interested in telling you the truth. We would put any liar, conspiracy theorist, or corporate criminal on the air if they supported a worldview that made us money. I should say made me money because I was part of it. The reason I did what I did, said what I said, was not because I believed it, but because the easiest way for a woman or a person of color to make a name for themselves in the media is to be a conservative. But the reason network executives like Astaroth mainstream neo-confederates and Nazis is because they are neo-confederates and Nazis. That's Edo Kawakami, who some of you might remember as Kiki Wong. That's me! Another woman of color who also sold her conscience for money. Yeah! She sold racism and corporatism and anti-intellectualism in exchange for cold, hard cash. Well... She sold out her audience for fame and even sold her soul to the sexist pigs. Hey! You did! We both did! But now we are buying them back by telling the truth! I don't deserve to have my soul back! That's not true, Angelica. You again... 
Leave me alone! You were part of the problem. Now you can be part of the solution. But all those things I said, the lies I spread about women, about Black Lives Matter. And now is your chance to make up for it. But I won't be on TV anymore. I'll just be on YouTube. What is wrong with you? Stop sniveling! Remember, you are Angelica Phoenix. People didn't watch you to hear lies. They thought you were telling the truth. But they were lies. And now it will be the truth. Work with me on this one. But no buts. There are no buts. You're changing your life, Angelica. And maybe making the world a better place. And maybe getting my soul back? You don't have a soul. What? I'm an atheist. I don't believe in souls. Oh. But I do believe in you. You do? Why else do you think I spend all this time nagging you? Well, I have things to do, you know. I have a life. Okay. Thank you. Angelica, are you all right? What? You kind of zoned out for a second there. I'm sorry. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens, that there is still hope for us. All of us. We can save ourselves. We can turn this country, this planet around so that we have something better to hand down to our children. Yes, there are people who will use lies to get you to buy what they sell, use fear to get you to hate who they hate. But you have to stop listening to people who profit from dividing us, who tell us science is fake, that racism doesn't exist. That sexism is just a part of a woman's life. Who say there are good people on both sides, that Nazis can be nice. Who say you should overthrow your elected government just because some random nutjob on a website said so. And who say there is anything wrong with two men being in love and kissing like this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, if a kiss like that is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> you can't get away with any of this. Slander, libel, and besides, I didn't do anything illegal. What about the evidence of your connection to our co pub we got from your office? That can all be explained away as investigative journalism. I was just undercover, gaining their trust to expose them. <laughs> So, it looks like your little revolution died before it started, Angelica. Actually, Brad, do you mind if I call you Brad? What is it? We also have video of you speaking at the rally. What? Give me that camera. I can't hold him. Look out. Let go of that. Give that to me. Ha! Got it. And... And now, Miss Phoenix, there is no evidence I was ever even here. But we saw you. No one will believe you. You two escaped from jail, remember? There'll be felony warrants out for you by morning. Good man. You know, if you ever leave the force, I might have a place for you. Really? Now that I'll be right black is finished, a slot just opened for a new commentary. What do you think of the thick blue line? <laughs> I can lose weight. Oh, not that kind of thick. It would be about how we need even more police officers to keep America safe from the mob. I like it. Let's go back to my office and talk about it. I can show you my couch. Is that it? I guess so. We got nothing. No. Unless... Unless what? Unless there was some other footage of everything Mr. Astaroth said. Shot on my phone while I was lighting your report. You videoed that? It's called coverage. I don't work at a TV station for nothing. Oh, thank you, thank you! Wait, all the time we've been at the same station, I never got your name. You never asked. I'm Archie, Miss Phoenix. And I'm Angelica, Archie. And I'm sorry. Um, don't look now, but we still have a crowd of angry Awakoa Pobians. Well, they're not going to listen to us anymore. All right, everybody. As acting assistant Fuhrer, I order you all to... Let's all just go home. <laughs>
good idea. Calm down. Have some tea. Read a book. Might I suggest the people's history of the United States? And think about all the stuff we think is being done to us and how maybe the folks we think are doing it to us ain't the ones doing it. Good speech. Short. And I guess you want your assistant Fuhrer uniform back now. You can keep it. Really? My kids will be so happy. But only if you tell them it has nothing to do with Nazis and that it was made by an absolutely amazing black leftist drag queen. I will! I can't believe you gave away your Maleficent outfit. That old thing. I was thinking of a new costume anyway. A cross between Stacey Abrams, Wonder Woman, and a super black Beyonce. Sounds stunning. It will be fabulous. So, Angelica, what are we going to do with that video? We? Well, if it's okay, I'd like we to- We can't hire you, Archie. But, oh. But we can make you an equal partner. Really? We'll need all the experience we can get. Doing what? We're starting a YouTube news channel. YouTube. But it's not going to be news. We already have plans for a documentary series, dramatic retellings of important events in political history, moments of revolutionary hope that people need to know about. What's it called? Eyeball on History! <laughs> I like it. Well, the cops will be after us, so we better get a head start. Take care. Maybe we'll see you around. Look for us at every protest. Maybe we'll have secret identities, like Batman and Robin. More like anti-fascist man and... And Sanka. But that's your name. And it's perfect. And that was it, Angelica. At least for now. Because the battle is just beginning. The battle to win this country back. To fight lies with the truth. To fight oppression with justice. And maybe even get your soul back. Even though I don't believe in that particular mythology. You are part of this struggle now, Angelica. Because now you finally see the truth. That this country does need radical change. Not from the right, but from the left. And now you understand, don't you, that overthrowing the racist, sexist, classist, corporatist, xenophobic, homophobic, transphobic, planet-killing, capitalist system makes perfect sense! And finally, you know that the fight for equality and justice isn't a puzzle? That political change is possible, and that the path to real revolution should never be a mysterious mystery! Next time on Tales of the Resistance. 